What's up, Coalition? It's KK here, back with some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, we nearly got rubbed out by some mobster thugs, but luckily Gumshoe came to save the day. <laughs> and today we're going to finish up this case, finally, with uh, the trial, the final trial. <sighs> well, <laughs> This one's going to have to be split because this is a pretty long uh, trial day. About an hour, I think. Maybe 15 minutes. If 50 minutes if uh, you're quick about it. But, yeah. So, let's jump right into it. We can do chapter start. October 20th. 10 a.m. just record, yeah, yeah, yeah. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today, I will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm, very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. No, really? Edge, Edgeworth, ah. <laughs> you may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Oh god, I really hope I say her name right. I don't even care anymore. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. <clears throat> Will the witness state her name and occupation? <laughs> D. Vasquez, I'm a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes? Ah, I'll get her voice right. <laughs> I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. Mm. Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. R right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. <laughs> Oh, let me say that correctly. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> I entered the trailer oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later, and we all went to Studio One. And that's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio Two. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk. What with that monkey's head toppling over. Whoa! Um... Okay. <laughs> okay, so the emulator paused or something. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I... I see. Very well. Let's write your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. Okay, I entered the trailer oh, a little before noon. We don't really care about that. Alright. So I'm still in Studio One. I want to try something here. Oh! Oopsie! <laughs> Um, I'll see you back when I get there. Alright, so we're back here finally at the cross-examination. 
<sighs> I didn't realize what I hit would... Oh, whatever. Okay. Um... Let's see, we need to question her. Let's try this again because I am rather curious to see if my microphone will work. Hold it! Hold it! Okay, well that doesn't work. <laughs> oh, I thought it would. Oh well. Oh, whoops! No, no, no. Uh. Dang it, I was hoping that would work. And when exactly was that? I for- uh, I've forgotten. Maybe you could try remembering? No. The meeting ended at four and the rehearsal was scheduled for five. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. I was fatigued, okay. Press her on that. Hold on! You had Sal take you? What does that mean? It means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the Studio 2 van. Oh, alright. Oh, 2.30? <laughs> hmm. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. <laughs> it was a 15 minute break. So I eat at the table in front of the trailer. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal? N no, I mean someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proves she didn't eat that steak... Well, Nick? Find anything? I kind of wish she'd sit a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said. Somewhere! Uh. Uh. Okay. I think we need present. I hope this is right. Please, oh god, be right. Yes! <laughs> ha! As I thought. You claim you ate T-bone steak. But I say you did not. What's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate? This plate was on the table in the employee room. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it is a T it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manila ate at a table outside the trailer. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. Uh oh. <laughs> Miss Vasquez? Tell me, how can a person eat a T bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. You ate the bone too, no. You ate a boneless steak. You did eat the steak. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere. Like that incinerator. <laughs> I... I see. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Okay, no leggy now. Picking all Salmonella. No, she was meeting a steel samurai. And would Joe seriously. She was meeting with a steel samurai. Order. Uh, are you saying? Yes, your honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the steel samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. Uh oh. <laughs> Ooh, got you now. M Mr. Wright, it, isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, Wright? Let him claim what he wants. 
You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vasquez. Whoops. <laughs> Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, the samurai spear. Yes? I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? You couldn't, could you? I think you would have had a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Ha! Did you see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? What? <laughs> that hacked that one. What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, your honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. Um... Let me see here. A brick in the shaft had been mended with duct tape. Uh, it doesn't matter if you get it wrong because you don't lose any health, so... I think it's this because it was broken. It wouldn't have been very effective. Uh, I don't think we have to present that picture just yet. But... I'm actually going to present that picture first. Just to be sure. And if it's not it, I'll go with a spear. Oh, whoops. <laughs> nope. Wrong, Mr. Wright. But I haven't said anything yet. Or, I haven't said anything yet. I know you well enough by now knowing you're going to present the wrong evidence. I can sense it too with my fey blood. Okay, okay, so I picked the wrong evidence. Enough with all the sensing. Right. Okay, here's the real evidence, Your Honor. I can prove that the Samurai Spear was not used as the murder weapon. Okay. This time we'll present the spear. <laughs> ah! I was right the first time. But I just wanted to make sure. I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. B but that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that the spear broke during the... Remember that the spear broke during the morning action scene run through? But someone fixed the spear. It was a security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Uh, order! Order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're... Silence! I'm the only one- I'm the one testifying here and I will be heard. Mm. <laughs> Poor Edward, shot down. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what the weapon was to use? Um, can you tell us what weapon? Uh, I think we have to present the picture this time. Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Very well, let's see this murder weapon then. Alright, well, let's try the picture this time. <laughs> there. Okay, that was correct order. <laughs> Look at this photo. W what is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Order, order! If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. 
It was a close kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it? You see the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him, pierced him through the chest? What? what are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Ooh. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Has happened again! <laughs> Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. And she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had had himself done five years ago. But whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. Oh, <laughs> now she's got the serious face. Uh, in other words, the, the, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Oh, -ho, very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny <laughs> you deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that Hammer died at the trailer, as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in that in the, in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death and carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? Uh, she couldn't deal- no, that's not- I bet she couldn't move- no, she had another way. What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? For instance? Actually, for that matter, there is no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. Well, isn't that obvious the van? Miss Vasquez, you carry the body to Studio One. And you use the Studio Van to do it. Recall your testimony. <clears throat> There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used a van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. Oh, what, Edward? Hold on, right? Don't forget, it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a cons a conspirator? Of course he was. Of course, Sal. Of course, Sal Manella has has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into and put into the costume. There is no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the steel samurai costume. They had to. They had to because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burn it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I lose, you win. It was fun. I win? Ah, oh, great. That ellipses. Um, so what happens next? Don't question me. 
Or question mark me. <laughs> That's so stupid. Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost something like that? I just said that. <laughs> Wait, so you mean... D. Vasquez, so it was you. You killed Jack Hammer. Oh, come on. More ellipses. <laughs> Who can say? Huh? <laughs> Are you sure? <clears throat> Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright. We just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle? You proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. R right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 I ain't shout. No way. <laughs> Hurt your ears. Order, Mr. Redworth. Your thoughts? Um. Uh. Mm, uh. Of course, it's as it says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but uh, there's no proof. Edworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. Urgh, what do I do now? Testify again? No. I guess it doesn't matter what you choose. You did it, Vasquez. <laughs> Miss Vasquez, you did it! That wasn't a question. Um, did you do it? <laughs> no. Mr. Wright. Y yes, Your Honor? I'm not sure that question helped this court get any closer to a verdict. Urgh, what do I do now? Okay. Testify again, I guess? I I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? You know, actually, I think I'll just finish this trial all in one go. <laughs> Screw it. I'm getting through it pretty fast as it is. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I don't think I said that, but whatever. I could only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh... You'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn. Damn! Come so far only to fall or fail. <laughs> it looked like fall is so tiny. <laughs> As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cross examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. Objection. What? 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 Yes, Mr. Redworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. <laughs> no, this part is hilarious. I see. Very well. <laughs> Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I, I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see what we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to, what exactly did you want her to testify about? Mm, well, yes, um Indeed, verily I say, ergo <laughs> God Oh Edgeworth, you crack me up sometimes. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Or after they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Hmph. <laughs> Nick! Why did Edgeworth... Who knows? He probably realized she did it too. Now that's this point where you actually start to like him, but... <laughs> yeah. But... But... Wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that... Edgeworth. Uh, 
Hey, yeah, like I said, this is where you start to actually like the guy. Ah. <laughs> I was with Sal and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, pointing at Powers, saying, He did it! I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Hmm. I see no issue raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick. We're cl okay, Nick. We're close. Real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you pull her on the s if you put her on the spot, she's sure to f uh, falter. Yes, falter. <laughs> Looks like Faller, Texas, they're tiny. <laughs> Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. Okay. I was a sound boy when we found the body. I don't care. The assistant was there too. Okay. I immediately called the police. Hold on. Ask him. Ask. What was everyone else doing at that time? No one said a thing. It was silent. Completely silent. So we stood there until Powers finally arrived on the scene. Sorry, or sorry, sorry I'm late. Then, silence. Dead silence. Oh great, here we go again. Silence. <laughs> hey, hey Nick. Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should... Do something to lighten things up! <laughs> Pointing at Powers, saying he did it. Let's just press her on some of these other old bag. A security lady. Why did the security lady think Powers had done it? She said because she saw him going towards the studio. Or toward the studio. Right, the steel samurai. Press harder. Did the detective arrest Mr. Powers based solely on the security lady's word? Perhaps not. She seems to have also given that detective that photo. Give. Ah. She seems to have also given the detective that photograph. Of course, I heard all of, heard all this after the fact. That photograph, meaning the one taken by the security camera. She's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to Hammer. Hmm. I don't think there's anything in there I could use. <laughs> As. Hold on a minute. You asked to be left out? Yes. It seems that everyone was else was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and, will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in a meeting... There was no way we could have been involved, thus they covered for us. Covered for you, or covered it up for you. There must have been a lot writing on it with all those bigwigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require questioning. Yeah, I'm pretty sure too. Um... Wait a minute, what? The script in your direction notes? Yes, uh, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a minute. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh, yeah, I guess. Hmm. Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please continue. Objection. Oh! Your Honor! I have an objection to the witness's last statement! Edgeworth! You're actually helping us! Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> huh? Think! Miss Vasquez says she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to... Know about the murder before going to Studio One. <laughs> eh, good point. Order, order. 
Mr. Edgeworth, what you have just said is a reasonable ob observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change of defense? <laughs> I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Me neither. Hmm. Especially since you was a jackass in the last case. <laughs> So the prosecution is cahoots with the defense? What kind of court is this? Welcome to the Kangaroo Court of uh, Japan, California. No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to understand there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well, the witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew the hammer was injured and couldn't do. Uh, huh? Wait a second. Okay. I'm just gonna double check just to make sure. Okay. Well, that's really the only thing. Wait. Oh god. What am I doing here? Oh, why? Well, this case is about done anyway, <laughs> even if I lose a mark. Okay. Yes! Okay, I was right. You knew that ha you knew that hammer was injured? Don't you think it's a little funny? I mean, it was a steel samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. Wh what? Ooh, snap. Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is ragging his leg in this photo. But that's because he is pretending to be Mr. Powers. P pretending One person was injured in the run through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? Ooh, I already said who said it was Sal who told me. Th that's right. He must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manello was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez. Uh, you didn't hear him. You saw Hammer limping. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg, too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah! And when was he doing this? Well, it would have been after the he put on the Steel Samurai costume. And went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Vasquez. You met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in that Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were so confused. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Order! Order! I will have order! Witness. Can you refute this claim? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Er, why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm. Well, she wouldn't need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? There is a reason it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? <sighs> Actually, no, we can't prove she had a motive. Nick, no! 
saying you can't prove it now would be admitting defeat. She'll get away! But... but what proof could I possibly have? I don't care if it's impossible, you still have to fight this one. Ugh. Okay. I have proof and I'll show it... show it to you. <laughs> I present the... I present to the court evidence as to Miss Vasquez's motive for the murder. Ugh. Ah. Uh. Well, the only thing would be this picture. This is my proof. This is the photo from before. Ah, this photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Hmm? Hmm? Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, this the case currently up for trial. It began on that day, five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. <laughs> Bringing us to the present day and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly it was a constant source of shame for the X-Star. Hmm. Why is there shame in playing the villain? A lot of villains are awesome. <laughs> One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you've only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... As if... As if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Mr. or Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vasquez's murder for the... Er... Vasquez's motive for murder. She had no motive. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's this net? What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who's out for blood. All Miss Vasquez, all Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that? <laughs> what are you saying now? What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? What? Your Honor, Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the steel samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool a security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. Ooh, she snapped her cigarette in half. <laughs> cigarette holder, I guess I should. So you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance! Th there's blood everywhere! We're too late! Ah! Miss Vasquez! What? What happened here? Manuel fell, fell from the trailer stairs. Or Manuel? Manuel? Whatever. I will say, Manuel! Manuel! Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm! No! No! How could this. It was an accident! Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and... No! Manuel! Manuel! D don't touch him, Miss Vasquez! No! Wow, I say no, really weird. Please! Please don't die! Please! I was blowing something off my hand here. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again.
So I guess Rolling Crown's Contortion, I think? <laughs> I think it's what Contortion is. Or... It's con... Con... Kid... Whatever. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, where's D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, your honor. As calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright. Yes, your honor? It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I... Thank you, your honor. I think not, your honor. Will Powers was innocent. Now he should be found, so it's only natural, not a miracle. Yes, yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, not a guilty. Look at that. Look at his back, Sprite. He looks all wimpy. <laughs> that is all. This, the court is adjourned. Hmm. It'll take about 40 minutes. Unless you don't know what you're doing, it can take over an hour, so... one <laughs> twelve p.m.? Wow, we were in there for about three hours. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but... It's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez, but to think that he tried to frame me for the murder, it makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Uh huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Well, uh, there's one thing. Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... Path to glory. It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once, but he was reduced to acting in a kid's show, and as a villain, to boot. The kids love the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I... I think I understand. He... he could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP! Oh? Oh. <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and... Hmm? Is something wrong? N no of course not. Ah! N nick Edgeworth! Well, I don't know about these sprites, man. They make them look wide. <laughs> Say something, right? I'm not going to- I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Uh, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. <laughs> uh, er, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar. Actually, you're not lying. <laughs> right. I must say, I haven't ex I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. M meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I am set with unnecessary feelings. Unnecessary feelings? <laughs> yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? <laughs> they only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix, right? Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's why I came here to tell you. Well, that's not going to happen, Edgeworth. Um, Mr. Wright? Is, is this guy your friend? What? Friends? As if? They're rivals! Rivals! Right, Nick? For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick, tell me! What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? 
and so the curtain closes on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making good shows again. Oh god, they actually made it. Nick! This is it! The new show starts today! You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it, but they did. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? Huh? What? What? A guy playing- oh no, never- ah. Uh. I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't think that'd be a good idea. I don't know. I don't think this world is ready for the real Miss Will Powers. I know, he's not that bad of looking of a guy. <laughs> mm. Got a great personality and stuff. Strong. <laughs> yeah, he's big and buff and whatnot, but jeez. Alright, we're finally finished with this one. <sighs> Turn about goodbyes is the next episode. Mmm. And that one's a pretty long one, although not as long as the fifth case. Oh. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I like the fifth case. I really like the fifth case, but, uh, it's a little long-winded. <laughs> it's probably the lo one of the longest episodes of any of the games. And, whoo, <laughs> they really wanted to show off the DS's capabilities. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll start turning about goodbyes next week. So, if you, uh, Whoops. <laughs> if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time. Later, guys. KK.